Hi, I'm Ken German, Senior Editor for CNET.com. Today we're going to take a first look at the Verizon iPhone 4. Indeed, I was very happy when Verizon and Apple announced this phone in early January. Sure, it's great that AT&T is no longer an exclusive carrier, but I'm more excited that the long-discussed rumor has finally been put to rest. So what is the Verizon iPhone? Well, the answer is the Verizon iPhone is almost the same device as its AT&T counterpart. There are a couple of differences, and one that's pretty important, but it's still the same phone in most regards. I'll start with the one difference in the design. To accommodate the CDMA antenna, the ringer switch has been moved slightly closer to the volume rocker. Also, the gap that's currently on top of the AT&T handset has been moved to the top left side. Apple wouldn't discuss the specifics of the redesign, but in preliminary testing, we didn't encounter the death grip that we found on the AT&T iPhone. Unfortunately, though, the antenna change means that many current iPhone cases, like these here, won't fit, so you need to buy new ones. Also, because it runs on CDMA, the Verizon iPhone doesn't have a SIM card slot. Otherwise, the Verizon handset is exactly the same. You'll find the same controls, camera features, headset and charger jacks, speaker and microphone, and retina display. Verizon says it will carry the white iPhone, but we still have no idea when that will be. Last time I heard it was just timed in the spring. Now inside the Verizon iPhone is one major difference. Unlike the AT&T handset, the Verizon iPhone can function as a personal hotspot for up to five devices. You will need to activate the hotspot functionality with Verizon first, but once you do, it will appear in the settings menu. So after you set a password and you turn on the feature, you can get started. You can connect devices through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and also a USB cable. And what's really nice is you can use all three connection types at once. Another difference is the Verizon iPhone currently runs iOS 4.2.6, while in comparison, the AT&T iPhone runs iOS 4.2.1. Apple said 4.2.6 is a version unique to the Verizon handset, and the only changes it brings are CDMA support and hotspot feature. The other features on the device are exactly the same, so expect to see no changes from the AT&T phone. Of course, there are a few things the Verizon iPhone can't do. Unlike AT&T's handset, it can't perform simultaneous voice and data. If you're on Wi-Fi, it does do that, but if you're on the cellular network, no. And it doesn't offer global roaming for GSM networks. Also, the Verizon is growing its LTE 4G network. It's currently Verizon iPhone will tops out at 3G. We're still in the midst of testing the device, so you'll have to read the review for our full performance analysis. Voice quality, however, we noticed a few differences, but this is preliminary testing, so I want to emphasize that. Whatever our results, though, I have to stress that you shouldn't expect the Verizon iPhone to be a miracle device. You'll see differences, no doubt, but don't expect it to completely cure your reception woes. You're still using a cellular network that will vary according to your location, interference, and how many people are using it at one time. The expectations for a Verizon iPhone are immensely and ridiculously high. And this handset, I have to say, runs a big risk of not living up to them. That's why it's important to keep those hopes in check. Just recognize it is a phone, still going to have problems once in a while. More importantly, though, the la smartphone landscape is very, very different than it was in 2007 when the first iPhone went on sale. Not only are there many other hand fantastic smartphones on the market, but also there are a lot of people that are perfectly happy with their non-Apple device and don't want to buy one. The iPhone is on a new carrier. That's great. There's more customer choice, and it remains a very good phone. But it remains just one player in a very competitive field. I'm Ken Sherman, here with a first look at the Verizon iPhone 4.